In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective defense that is going to help you get more stops in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, we're going to be taking a look at today at the 46 uh, defensive playbook. We're going to be in the Nickel 33 Cub. And if you want to get my full Nickel 33 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, as I said, we're going to be taking a look at the Nickel 33 Cub. And what you want to do is you want to be in the 46 playbook so that you can audible down from the Nickel 33 normal into the Nickel 33 Cub. This is going to allow you uh, to get uh, much, much, much better uh, personnel on the field. You're going to be able to put safeties at the linebacker position. Uh, you're going to be able to kind of set your team up however you need to. This is the best way uh, to set this defense up, in my opinion. So we're going to come out in the nickel 3-3 normal, and what we want to do is our coaching adjustments. We want to make sure that our match is set to on. Um, that's the only real thing that you need to do here. And then you're going to audible down into your uh, nickel 3-3 cub. Now, we're going to be showing you how to stop quick throws from gun tight, really anything from gun tight, because I do think gun tight can give this specific defense a little bit of trouble. So what we're going to do is we're going to audible down into Mike Blitz Zero. We're going to go ahead and set up a pressure. All we're going to do is we're going to contain our uh, linebackers. And then you can press if you want to or don't press. Okay, I actually think not pressing might be the way to go uh, in Madden 23 just with the current meta. But it's up to you. And then the only thing we're going to do for an adjustment is we're going to take that safety. You notice that that safety is kind of misaligned on the running back. And so if I was to run something like this, you'll see here that I can quick throw this to the running back. And I'm about 30 yards down the field. It's hard to guard these quick throws from gun tight. So what we're going to do to guard this is actually really simple. We're just going to take that cornerback that is on the running back side, that outside cornerback, and we're going to man him up onto the running back. And then, because we're playing backed off coverage, it's not going to give the immediate illusion that they could just run a streak. And we're going to take that backside safety and man him up onto uh, Mike Evans or that outside player. Now, even if they motion this guy across the formation, you're going to notice here that the you know the alignment is fine. We could even base a line in that regard and you know, readjust it this way. Okay, so. The point is, you know, this man up is, is super, super effective. So again, here you'll see here, the pressure's gonna come crazy, scream in up the middle, and you can see how the pressure is gonna handle it. So again, all we're gonna do is we're just manning up this, this outside cornerback onto the running back. And then we're gonna man this guy up onto Mike Evans, as you can see, very simple setup. And if they try to throw this, this uh, same combination, where we're gonna streak the outside guy and try to throw this quick throw wheel, You'll see here they're gonna they're gonna probably throw an interception, um, especially if they're just doing that right off the right off the rip. They're probably gonna throw an interception. But if you're playing an experienced player, they might think, okay, well I'm gonna have some leverage to try to throw a deep uh, that deep vertical. So what you'll see here is if they try to throw that deep vertical route, you actually see that that safety will get over there, and this has to do with the fact that gun tight is so compressed that we can get a lot accomplished with these with these different safety adjustments as you can see so we do this simple safety defense right here and we're going to be able to stop the quick throw of the running back and we're actually going to be able to stop almost everything they can do to mike evans um if you think about it like even the slot post play you'll notice here like i'm gonna it's gonna i can maybe throw that wheel early but i can't throw it late okay now, in the event that your opponent decides, hey, you know, I need to just motion out to make this a little bit more effective, right? So I'm just going to motion, um, you know, maybe maybe I want to motion this guy out. Now you are a little bit out leveraged. So what you want to do is you want to take that uh, safety and man him up on the running back and man that guy up on the tight end. So you see here, this is what the play uh, would look like. Maybe if you'll cooperate with me. So yeah, so um, do something like this, and then at the snap of the ball, you're going to jet out here. So that's the basic idea for this defense. And again, you know, we're just trying to kind of, again, force them to throw the ball 
away from the running back because the running back is the best pl player to throw to when you're playing man to man. So if we can accomplish something like this, now if they try to throw that quick throw wheel, you're going to see here the safety is going to go right down to it and play it. And you could do that from either of those guys over in that formation. This makes it really a lot easier when trying to play defense against this formation. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could play a cover two on this side so you could kind of roll the coverage. Um, this is okay. Uh, this is an okay way to play it. You're going to struggle a little bit up the seams, but because your blitz is coming in so fast, you know they're going to be hard for them to recognize them. But I just think these man-ups here are really helpful for this formation. Um, doing something as simple as this right here. And then the beauty of this is... Even if they motion, it's not too hard to fix this. Like if I motion out and across, you see the safeties are going to be just fine. They're going to be in perfect leverage to be able to play it. And, you know, you're still screaming at them. And they're going to make have to make a split second decision. I think that the nickel 3-3 Cub is uniquely positioned to be one of the better formations because of the fact that man coverage is really effective when paired with the right adjustments behind it. Whether it be a blitz, whether it be something as simple as this right here. Um... You know, man coverage is really good if if um, you can you can play it right. You know, so let's say we do something, uh, you know, something like this, right? And we're able to handle this with our safeties. I think the man up of the safeties is super super important. You know, so doing something like this now, my safeties are in really good leverage, and I now have two zones to take care of corner routes. So utilizing these different types of safeties, man-ups man out of 3-3 Cub, alongside of the fact that because we audible down, we can get into cross man, and we're going to get even better pressure because when we audible down, you know, it's going to be hard for them to pick this up. If they block the running back uh, to try to pick this blitz up, it's going to be actually really hard uh, for them to pick this up consistently. And as you can see, the man coverage is really powerful in behind it. So... That is a little compression defense from 3-3 Cub Defense. If you want to check out the full 3-3 Cub Defensive ebook and get all of the adjustments for all of the formations, make sure you check that out in our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member, and it gets you access to the best ebooks in the game, in my opinion. We worked really hard to try to provide you with the most up-to-date ebooks every single week. And, um, yeah, if you want to get access to all of them for just 10 bucks, the link is in the description below. I'd really encourage you to consider it. Um, there's, a, I think, 18 different offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon, and we're planning to add another one this week. So make sure you're in the Patreon to check all that stuff out. And if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.